If you are like me, you open everything out there, then you might have noticed this component. Well, it is a diode. So how it works, we will find it out. Let's first talk about DC, for which I will use multimeter's continuity function. A diode is conductive when anode is connected to positive and the cathode is connected to negative which is not true I will tell you later and also there is a voltage drop across the diode so keep that in mind while creating the circuit. So how can it be useful? You can use it as a reverse polarity protection like I did with my Arduino Nano. Ok now let's talk about AC. To work safely with the mains voltage I am using a step down transformer. We know diode only allow current to flow in one direction. So we can use it to convert AC into the DC. Ok, let's put our diode into the circuit. And we have our DC. But a bumpy DC. But wait, by adding a capacitor, we can smooth it out and use it as our power supply. But as soon as I draw some current, it again becomes bumpy. We know our capacitor charges only during the positive half cycle. There must be a way to manipulate the negative half cycle to charge our capacitor. Wait, we have a bridge rectifier which manipulates the current to flow only in one direction. Here it is, how it works. During the positive half cycle, current flows to the diode D1 and the D3. And during the negative half cycle, current flows through the diode D2 and D4. Remember, earlier I said when diode's anode is connected to positive and the cathode is connected to negative, it is conductive. But actually, when anode is connected to higher potential and the cathode is connected to lower potential, it is conductive. For example, when anode is connected to plus 2 and the cathode is connected to plus 1, it will be conductive. Ok, now you know the basics about the diode. But remember, there are many more types to talk about. Hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.